Oh, we've got to stop the desecration of the Soviet or Orthodox Church, which is a total contradiction because um, uh, there's no such thing as, as religion in a communist state. Because as Karl Marx said, religion is the opiate of the masses. I wonder if these guys knew that before they made this game, or they just, uh, they actually threw that in there to be a contradiction. I wonder if they're aware of their own joke, or they just, or they're just stupid. I'm tending to lean towards the latter. Scratch <laughs> just come in on hordes, just hordes and hordes of these stupid little uh, confetti men, and we're just grinding them down, just crushing them under our treads. What the hell? Oh my god, dude! Now, now we've got um. That looks like the enemies from Doom, like the uh, the uh, I can't remember what they were called from Doom, and they stand there and they hurl eyeballs at you. I guess I stopped the desecration of the Soviet Orthodox Church. And I won the mission, even though there were still a whole bunch of enemies left to kill. But that was an epic counteroffensive, who I do say myself, gentlemen. Whoops. And yeah, same thing. Um. Uh oh. Hold on. Looks like I've, I've crashed again. So the game actually crashed at the end of the last mission, so uh, we're, we're back right here at, at the start of mission 4, reading the briefing, <laughs> and it's called We've Got Worms. Commander, as you may know, Superior has plenty of mysteries and secrets, which, are you, which we usually pretend are only stupid myths and legends, but since you are an officer of high rank and access to the classified information, you must already know that the region you recently entered is a center of a force that allows us to use red magic. <laughs> However, our enemies have learned of this and are trying to rob our Soviet forces of the power contained in the ancient altars hidden there. <sighs> okay, I, I've got nothing to say to that. Now it's like we're playing, it's trying to tell us we're playing Diablo or Boulder's Gate or something. Yet again, better games that we could be playing besides this one. Anyway, now our enemy won't will not only use this yeah. now our enemy will not only use regular infantry but also giant creatures one of which is a great and powerful worm and the only way to kill it is to be faster than the enemy retake all of the captured altars sacrifice uh, sacrifice penal battalions there and activate the powerful pagan spell of our ancestors and will turn the forces of nature against this disgusting creature i wish you luck commander i have faith in your skills do not let me down sincerely yours Stalin. Okay, this is just in, this is just inspired, guys. This is this is bizarre. Again, uh, powers of observation. There's a giant scorpion on top of a factory, hurling fireballs down upon the Russian infantry below. Okay, again, just uh, fuck the uh, infantry. <laughs> Liberate the altar of communism. Objective: prevent the enemies. Oh shit! Aliens. Hey, it looks like the infantry are actually shooting this time. Looks like they've learned. But I'm still not going to use them because I need to move fast. Holy shit. Wow. They're everywhere, man. They're fucking everywhere. I gotta get out of here. I gotta, I gotta retreat and regroup my, my forces. I have to go and uh, pick up all the gold and shit though. Or not, even though he'll run right over them. I guess he'll decide that it would be best for him if he did not. Oh, I get to use red magic eventually once I, I release the cult, the altar of communism from the grips of the tyrannical Martians. Okay, yeah, they're everywhere, man. They're hiding everywhere. I 
think I'm starting to get the hang of this game. I'm actually starting to uh, master the terrible, terrible controls. And I guess this is the altar of communism, which is apparently a, a like a one of those cats they put outside Japanese shops wearing a, a Russian you know, winter hat with a hammer and sickle on it. Which is real creative, guys. But here's the uh, altar of communism, which looks like Mount Rushmore, with Stalin, Lenin, Marx, and Engels' face all on it. Being guarded, of course, by the uh, three-eyed bastards. And we liberated it, even though there were <laughs> there were still Martians surrounding it. Apparently, it was it, the uh, game declared that it was good enough. Do I get to use red magic yet? No, I don't. Oh, I can I can recruit Spetsnaz though. Uh, okay, I don't know what the hell they're gonna do, but go go activate the. Uh, why do these guys have uh, exclamation points over their head? What the hell was that? Stalin says we do. Okay, anyway, I don't really know what was with that. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, they're man, they're just coming down in hordes, man. Holy crap, there's more... Wow, it was a horde of confetti men, but they were easily dispatched by my efficient micromanaging. Also, people said that uh, these these aliens are taking um, reference from other movies and anything, everything. And what are the confetti men supposed to be from? Return to the Party Planet Six? I don't understand. They're not they're not from anything. I mean, they kind of look like Pikmin, but I don't think Pikmin is a big uh, influential name that uh, they can draw real you know references from. Not like Star Wars, which are clearly the, the uh, elephants, and Doom, which are clearly the uh, red uh, eyes that f fling bombs at you, or whatever the hell. Oh no! Some uh, purple elephants are besieging our village that we're supposed to hold. And they were, of course, massacred under my, my firepower. Uh oh, it's an evil tree. I like the faces on these trees. <laughs> They, they get me every time. Oh shit, it's the giant worm. Fortunately, it looks like I'll be able to uh, sneak by it without it really doing anything or look like. Where's my new tank horde? More men to throw into these meat grinders. It looks like their their horrible horrible weapon of destruction is completely oblivious and apathetic to our existence and is going to leave us alone. While my tank horde continues to roam around the Russian countryside and destroy enemies as they would as they please. Where's the uh here's the guys that I put in, in the altar? But I like the, the, the to activate the altars. We have to sacrifice Russian infantry to all to uh, activate them, which is clearly you know a, a stab at Russian tactics during World War II. Um, but it looks like we only got one more altar. We've got to uh, activate, and then we can. I, I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. I don't know. Maybe like fucking. Khrushchev will come down from the sky dancing with zombies or some shit. I don't even know. No, in this game, I probably can't be too far off if some something like that happens. I, I, I can't pick up this, sh this shit. 